In the previous video, we have discussed about how an AC voltage is generated and we have studied the EMF equation, derivation of EMF equation of AC voltage. Next, we can do some numerical problems. So, for this, this is the problem we have discussed in the previous video, generation of AC voltage. There will be a magnet and between a coil is rotating. Depending upon the position of coil, an EMF is generated. When coil is at this position, that is omega t theta is lying on the x-axis for this position omega t is equal to that is coil lying on the x-axis that is theta equal to omega t equal to zero so at that time we have derived an emf equation e equal to em sin theta or em sin omega t when theta equal to zero means at this position a e emf is zero when coil is rotated through 45 degree emf is em sin 45 coil is 90 degree e equal to em sin 90 that is the maximum value it is when theta is 0 emf is 0 theta 90 maximum value in this way you, depending upon the rotation of coil you are getting a sinusoidal voltage next this emf equation instantaneous the small e is the instantaneous value of emf instantaneous value means value of emf at different instant of time by substituting the value of t or theta you can able to get different value of emf at different time or at different angle so that equation we can represent in the different form e equal to m sin omega t omega is 2 pi f so you can represent as e equal to m sin 2 pi f t and what is frequency 1 by time period so e equal to 2 pi f by capital t into t small letter is instantaneous time capital letter t is total time period that is if frequency is 50 hertz tap time period is 1 by 50 so in the similar manner you can represent the current also i equal to im sin theta so theta is omega t omega is 2 pi f t f is 1 by capital t so you can represent current and voltage in the same manner we can see the first problem a square coil of 10 centimeter side and 100 turn is rotated at a uniform speed of 1000 revolution per minute about an axis of angle to uniform field, magnetic field of 0.5 Weber per meter square. Calculate instantaneous value of EMF when plane of coil is at right angle to field and in the plane of field. So, coil dimension is given and that coil is rotating at 1000 revolution per minute. The number of turns is 100 and about an axis right angle to uniform magnetic field. Magnetic field strength is 0.5 Weber per meter square. Weber per meter square means flux by area. That is flux density is given. So what are the given data? So this is the coil position which is rotating at a uniform between uniform magnetic field. Frequency is 1000 revolution per minute. Revolution per minute you have to convert into revolution per second. So 1000 by 60 that is 50 by 3 revolution per second. Number of turns 100, flux density 0.5, area 10 raised to minus 2. What is the equation for instantaneous value of EM of E equal to EM sin theta, where EM is 2 pi m omega NAB omega. We have already studied in the derivation. EM equal to, see here, EM equal to N phi m into omega, that is phi is A into B. Omega is 2 pi f, so 2 pi f n b max into a. Em is that equation you have to take. So, when plane of coil is in, in the plane of field, that is the first case. When the plane of coil in the plane of field, theta is equal to, both are in parallel, theta equal to 0 degree. So, em of e equal to em sin 0, answer is 0. When the plane of coil is perpendicular to plane of field means theta equal to 90 degree. So E max is 2 pi f that is E m sin 90 that is E max. E max is this equation 2 pi f n a b m. Substitute the value you will be getting 52.3. Next write the four way of representing an AC voltage by magnitude 5 volt and frequency 50. Maximum EMF is given 5 volt. Frequency is 50. So what is omega? 2 pi f. 2 into pi into 50. That is 100 pi. What is frequency? 1 by time period. So time period is 1 by frequency. That is 1 by 50. Next your aim is to represent the voltage in different form. We have studied that different forms are E equal to EM sin omega t, EM sin theta, EM sin 2 pi f t and EM sin 2 pi by t. Let's substitute the values here. We will be getting different forms. 
Next question is an alternating current of frequency 60 Hz and maximum value 12 ampere. Write down equation for instantaneous values. So current is given. Current is given as with the maximum value 12, frequency 60. So omega is 2 pi f 120 into pi. Substitute the value of pi 3.14, you will be getting 377 radian per second. Fre omega is 377. So first question is write the equation for instantaneous value. That is the equation I equal to I m sin omega t. Omega is 12 sin 377 t. This is the first part. Equation for instantaneous value. Next time t find the value of current after 1 by 360 second. That is you have to find suppose this is the wave. So your aim is to find the current at 1 by 360 second. Okay, total frequency how much? 60. So, total time period is 1 by 60. 1 by 60 means how much? It is approximately, what is the value of 1 by 60? Let it be 1 by 60. So, your aim is to find, find the current after 1 by 360 second. So, for this value of current after 1 by 360 means your equation is I equal to I m sin 377t. Here time is 1 by 360. So, directly substitute that value. You will be getting 12 sin 1.0472 that is 10.39 ampere. Mm -hmm. And the third part is find the value of current. Uh, sorry, the third part is time taken to reach 9.6 ampere for first time. 9.6 ampere that is time taken to reach 9.6 ampere for first time means this is your current wave so maximum is 12 at a particular time it reaches 9.6 ampere so first time here second time it reaches at another time so your aim is to find the time taken to reach for only first time so this is the point so i equal to i m sin 377t so current you substitute as 9.6 and your aim is to find the time period. So 9.6 equal to 12 sin 377t. So from this find the value of time. So this will be your answer.